Find the cross product. U is 3i plus 5k. V is 2i plus 3j minus 2k. So the first thing you want to do maybe is set up that 3 by 3 determinant looking thing. So, uh, and, and use the proper notation. So U cross V, we'll write down. And then set up the 3 by 3. It's, it's, it's like a matrix, except the first row is vectors, not, not, not scalars. So what would uh, the first row be? It's, it never changes. It's always the I, the J, the K. So I, J, K, and then uh, you're predicting my next question. What's the middle row? Three, and then there is no J component, so it's the J component is zero. You don't see a J component, so the J component is zero. And then so 3I plus 0J, when you don't see it, plus 5K. So just 3, 0, 5. And then third row, two three, two, 3, negative 2. All right, let's compute this thing. Um, Let's break it down to, okay, a bunch of two by two determinants. So something, some determinant times I minus some determinant times J plus some determinant times K. I should have left a little more room here. I don't normally do it this way. Uh, but I think I can squeeze everything I need in here. Okay, what's going to go in between the first bars? So three, zero, three, zero. I'm sorry, wrong thing. How about skip, you know, cross out that first one, and then what would it be? <laughs> zero, zero, five, three, negative two. So at first, if you need to, go ahead and cross it out. Apparently, I need to, right? I usually do it in my head, but that time I didn't. Zero, five, three, negative two. Everybody see it? All right. Okay, and then by definition, that's times i, and then by definition, there's a minus there. What goes in the second, in between the second set of vertical bars? Okay, so 3, 5, and 2, negative 2. Everybody see how I got those numbers? Okay, and finally, in, in between the third set. Okay, 3, 0, 2, 3. Everybody with me? All right, so now it's, you have to calculate three 2 by 2 determinants, which isn't so bad. So uh, this first one, what do we do? We, we, we multiply 0 times negative 2. So how much do you want to show here? Not that much. 0 times negative 2 is 0, right? And subtract off 3 times 5. So maybe just write it as 15 right away. Does everybody see where that comes from? OK, and then minus, help me out here. 3 times negative 2. Negative 6 minus 10 times J. We'll, we'll fix that in a second. And then plus what? 9 minus 0 or just 9K. So uh, here I'm showing more work than I might normally show. I might just write 9K if something zeroes out like that in the future. Is that OK? You have to get to the point where you're comfortable with this. Yeah, it's easy to make. Anybody will make a mistake with a negative once in a while. That's not a big deal. But get, get to the point where you're comfortable computing this by hand, OK? All right, so then clean it up. What do we have? Negative 15i. What's this going to be after the smoke settles? Plus 16j, right? Because you're going to have a minus 16 inside, but minus a minus 16. And then what? Plus 9k. Does everybody believe that? So what's special about the cross product, those of you taking physics? Well, one thing that's very special about it is that thing that we just computed is going to be orthogonal to both vectors we started with. This vector will be perpendicular to both u and v. How could you prove that it's perpendicular? Let's just do one of them. Let's prove that it's perpendicular to v. Um, if we take this vector, negative 15i plus 16j, plus 9k, don't be afraid of ijk notation, dot it with, let's say v, I'm gonna, uh, it's true for both of them, but I'm just going to prove one. We should get 0 if they're orthogonal, which means perpendicular, right? So hopefully we get 0. And by the way, that's kind of a way to check your work, too. So what do we get here if we multiply corresponding components? Negative? Yeah. Negative 0, okay. 
Uh, negative 30 plus 48. Plus 48, and then hopefully minus 18, yep. I think that's zero. So what does that show? Well, we'll make a note of it down here. It, it's also true that, so, so this is saying, by the way, that this is um, u cross v, right? So this is saying u cross v, if you dot it with this is v, you get zero. But it's also true that if you take um, u cross v and dot it with u, you'll get zero. I'll let you verify that on your own. Which means the cross product is perpendicular to the vectors that made it, right? And that, as you'll see, turns out to be a useful property.